In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the system information for the engine on the multifunction display of the G1000. We'll start by hitting the engine button on the soft key menu and then systems, and we'll see that a new display comes up here on the left. We still have our engine tachometer, but we now have the oil uh, pressure and temperature. Below that, we've got fuel calculations. So we've got fuel flow in gallons per hour. That's measured by a fuel flow meter. We've got the gallons used and gallons remaining. We've got the fuel quantity in gallons for the left and right tank. And then below that, we've got the electrical voltage for the main bus and the essential bus, which is at 28 volts. And then we also have the rate of discharge of the battery in amps, and that's for the uh, main battery and then also for the standby. Now, there is a slight difference here between the fuel quantity and the fuel calculation. My understanding is that the fuel quantity is based on uh, a fuel quantity sensor which measures the amount of fuel in the left and right tanks. On the other hand, the gallons used and gallons remaining are not calculated based on sensors in the tank. Instead, you have to initialize them and you do so through the start uh, through the soft key menu here at the bottom. So what we can do is hit the gallons remaining soft key button and we can hit 53 gallons and we'll see that it makes it fully fueled and we can increase or decrease the amount of fuel by hitting the plus or minus number. So here we can decrease it in increments of 10 gallons and we can see that it goes down to 23 and then it goes down to 13. Here it goes up to 23, 33 and then we can go finer resolution one gallon at a time and so essentially what you're doing is before you uh, start up the engine, you'll have done your pre-flight, you'll know how much fuel is in the aircraft. Let's say it's fully fueled, so you hit 53 gallons. And once you start the engine and fuel flow is being registered by the fuel flow meter, what it's going to do is calculate how much fuel you've been using over time based on the measurements from the fuel flow sensor it's going to add it up and it's going to continually subtract that from your starting value and what that will give you is the gallons of fuel remaining now that's different in the sense that it's not using any of the sensors which measures the level of fuel in the tanks so the accuracy of this is entirely dependent on you telling it when you start before you start the engine when you're initializing everything and setting your flight plan it's entirely dependent that you set the initial amount of fuel in gallons correctly and that you monitor it over time. So that's the subtle difference between the fuel calculation and the fuel quantity in gallons. And if you do things right, these two uh, should be somewhat close, but keep in mind that the accuracy of the fuel sensors in the tanks themselves are not good. All they have to do, according to the FAA, is show you an accurate reading when they're empty. And so, essentially by doing this fuel calculation, it's going to be more accurate than relying on the sensor in the tanks because you're actually calculating at every second how much fuel is going through that fuel flow sensor. And all you have to do is be accurate about your starting value and then it will subtract away from that much more accurately than if you just relied on the value in the gauge itself. So it's really quite simple. You can hit the back button here on the soft key menu and if let's say for whatever reason you don't want to have 53 gallons remaining, you want to reset it, you just hit the reset soft key and it goes back to zero. So that's all there is to it. Really quite simple but the main thing to get out of this tutorial is the difference between the fuel calculation and the fuel quantity in gallons.